So there's some ease used into your Shopify account. You want to focus into how you can check out and fix those stuff from the checkout elements. So to get started, first of all, I'm going to sign into my Shopify account and I'm going to show you how to get started and fix those stuff. So first of all, it's going to be really important to identify the problem. So the first step in fixing the checkout issues is identify the problem. Start by checking your Shopify dashboard for any error messages or notifications related to the checkout process. Common issues might include the payment getaway errors, the shipping method problems, or car abandonment due to a poor use experience. So if you go into the upper side, you can see that we have notifications. There is a notification from support. There's an issue with the Facebook and Instagram, but there's no problem here with alerts into orders. Next step is to focus into the left part that says orders. Into orders, you wanted to see that there's uh, any issue in here if it appears. So, if in this case it doesn't appear to anything here, so let's go for the second check mark. Now, the third thing to do is to test your checkout process. To pinpoint the issue, you can run a test order throughout your store checkout. So, this might be helping you experience what your customers see or identify uh, any roadblocks. I can go for my online store, view my online store select the product whatever product would you like to get started with let's say for example i have products and i have one two three of them so i select one product and i go directly from out to the card and go directly into my checkout so this might be helping me to understand what might be happening and what people might be seeing into uh my product so one of the most common caches of the checkout issues is the misconfigured the payment gateways. So if everything looks correctly in here, or if you still see there's an error here, then most probably is that you may have an issues with the payment processing. So let's go into the home dashboard once again. Let's focus into the left part that says settings. Into settings, I want to focus here into the option that goes for payments. Now into payments, as you can see, you have a specific session that says Stripe. Usually you might be seeing that there is a banner error in here. So that might be the reason why you can't receive payment elements. So I can go here for managed. And here into manage, you can see that we have my Stripe account. Here's my test mode and everything looks correctly. So what I need to do now is to enable the element assist, uh, of course, disable the element that says test mode and double check that my API keys, credentials and currency settings match to your presence details. Other thing that you can do is to sign in directly with the third party supplier that you might be having. So if I select the option that says support from Stripe, this one should be taking me directly into Stripe.com. I focus into my dashboard and directly into my dashboard of the Stripe. I wanted to see if there's a notification or something specific that is related into Shopify. So if I go into the section that says notification, I have nothing out today, so everything looks correctly here. But you might be having chances that you might be having a notification directly coming from Shopify are really high. And lastly, just a few incorrect or missing shipping options can prevent the customers from completing the orders. So review your shipping details into the left part. Instead of payments, go for shipping and delivery. Ensure that all the shipping grades, the sound, the methods are correctly configured. Make sure that every valid shipping option is available for every region you serve. And of course, something else that is not that important, but sometimes it happens. Sometimes you need to check out some issues that can be related to your browser cache and cookies. So encourage your customers to clear their browser cache or try completing the purchase in incognito mode. This can resolve issues like the outdated script or conflicts caused by some stored data. And what we can do in here, other thing that we can do is to recently install the new application and maintain your store apps. They might be a conflict causing checkout issues. So if you go into the upper side once again, look out for apps and sales channel. And if you recently installed something, you might want to check out the application that might be having some checkout issues. So you may need to find an alternative application or reach out to the app support team for any assistance. Other thing is to use some customer scripts to add it to the card. The checkout pages can sometimes interfere with the checkout process. So if you add any custom code, such as the JavaScript or the third party tracking scripts, review them for errors. You can access them directly. I'm going to close this, go for online store, and focus directly in here into your theme editor. 
and instead of checking out the customization go for uh, edit the code uh, what I always do before editing code and adding custom codes is to duplicate my page in order to uh, let's say to do any changes and lastly just in case none of this works I believe that the best solution for us is to go to the upper side go to the help center and contact support they can help you troubleshoot further or may be able to identify issues related to the specific account of the server so make sure you provide them with the detailed information about the issue including some screenshots and error messages if you can do it so so by following these steps you can still be able to resolve most checkout issues in your shopify store a smooth checkout process is crucial for maintaining customer trust and maximizing some sales so guys if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe to express like the video and hit the notification bell for more e-commerce tips and tutorials. Thank you guys for watching the video, hopefully you can all see you next time.